Welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're going to be talking about is why most uh, natural people fail to develop the bodies that they want. And it's really simple because you are being misinformed by people that are masquerading as uh, natural people. And a, a, a person whose body is enhanced, your body is, your natural body is a lot different than that. So you can't really do the things that they do and make it uh, work for you. It, it's not gonna work for you. So. We're gonna talk about the chest for instance. The chest is a complex muscle. If you say, if, if you ask me, it's a complex muscle because there's really no one exercise that you can do that will develop the overall chest. It's really not one exercise that you can do for that. Uh, not even the great dip. <laughs> so, that means you have to separate the areas of the chest just like you would have to do with the back. You know, I only advocate 10 sets per body part. So that means if you're gonna separate the parts of the back, that means, I mean, separate the parts of the chest, um, you're going to um, do those 10 sets, 10 to 12 reps for that one section. Okay, we're gonna start off with the upper part of the chest, which is normally the weakest part of most people's chest and also the inner part of the chest. And the reason for that is most people are using too heavy of a weight. They're using too less of a rep range to have that time under tension. And therefore, they are never really developing the body that they want because like I said, of misinformation, they're looking at these uh, guys that are on steroids, lifting these tremendous amount of weights, and you have to look at what they're doing. You know, the drugs that they're doing is allowing them to lift heavy weights, okay? At the same time, their rep ranges is always 10 to 12, even though they're lifting heavier weights. Now, if you can still, you know, bench 315 for 10 to 12 reps, then use 315 because that's what that's what you can do that's going to give you the time of the ditching but if you can't do 315 for 10 to 12 reps you know what's the use you know what's the use your, your goal is to always stay in those upper uh, rep ranges to get enough blood to break down enough uh, muscle tissue to develop you know try this for instance try using a weight that you can handle for 10 to 12 10 to 12 reps whether you pyramiding up and just adding weight that's how i do it that's the best way to do it because you can avoid injury that way but get a weight that you can handle even though you can lift heavier weights that's nice you can lift heavier weights you know uh but you want to try to keep your rep ranges within that 10 to 12. by all means 10 sets and you'll notice that you're gonna get a lot more sore when you use a weight that you can handle because you're breaking down more muscle tissue than you would when you're lifting the heavier weights. The heavier weight is gonna move all the stress and tension toward ligaments. And ligaments don't make you look big. Muscle make you look big. The muscle part of the, of the uh, body is what causes you to look big. So you wanna go to what you're trying to accomplish. Now, you're gonna to have to separate the uh, complexity of the chest each workout. This workout, you're gonna work the upper chest. You're gonna do 10 sets of 10 to 12 reps. You know, uh, again, dumbbells are king when it comes down to developing the chest and not the incline uh, press or the flat bench press. The, those are not the king. And the reason I say that is because the dumbbells allow you to get a longer range of motion and at the same time it makes you makes you stay within the form that the body is made to work 
to activate the chest. You know, the bench press, you can't come in like this. You can't come in like this because that's the natural way to flex the chest and get those muscle fibers uh, activated. That's the best way to do dumbbells. Now, uh, you can use the uh, incline bench press if that make you feel good, it's still gonna do it. But to me, you're not incorporating as, as, as much muscle as would be necessary to cause the chest to, to, to grow easier. That's my opinion of it. Now, the reason I say stay within 10 sets is just enough stimulation to break the muscle down and also allows you to heal easier from that. Now, if you do too much, then it, and it takes you more than 72 hours to start feeling some type of relief, then you're actually breaking the muscle down too much and it's gonna actually go in reverse because it's taking you too long to get back to the muscle again. Now, by all means, stay within that 10 sets per body part, but you're doing those 10 sets with just the upper chest. Now, next week, the next workout, you can do a uh, flat dumbbell press, a flat bench press uh, with weight that you can handle for 10 to 12 reps. And you're gonna work the middle to lower portion of the chest with the flat bench press. Now, the next week, you incorporate flat dumbbell flies and incline dumbbell flies because you're working, you're concentrating on the center portion of the chest. And at the same time, the reason I'm saying do it that way is because you're not going from a flat bench press and you're tired and then you're gonna halfway do uh, dumbbell flies. You know, you're not gonna get the development in your inner chest like you would want, simply because you're tired. So that's why you separate those things. That's why you, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people say, you know, you work the biceps and then you work the tricep opposing muscles. You know, all that's nice, but uh, if you're tired, you're really not giving the other muscle justice. You know, it, it's not gonna happen. Unless you are switching the roles the next workout and you're working the muscle out, you know, on the opposite side. If you're doing, let's say, bicep, tricep. Tricep is not gonna get justice because you, you're gonna be tired from doing the uh, bicep. So the next, the next week you would do tricep and bicep. You have to keep switching it up like that. You have to make sure that when you're fresh and you're just throwing out what muscle it is that you're trying to develop and bring up. Now, if you already are strong, in a, if your lower and middle chest is decent already, you wanna concentrate your efforts toward the middle part of your chest in the upper part of your chest. It's like, like they say, chiseling clay, you know, you, but you got to be realistic and looking at your body. And at the same time, you can do all this working out and all this other stuff. You know, if you're building a street body, that's that's fine. You know, then diet, it's, you still have to watch your diet because you don't want to really eat too much and become, you know, fat. But if you're going to have what I call one of those uh, street bodies, you're going to have a bigger body, but you're not going to be as chiseled. Now, if you want to become more chiseled, then diet is going to be king. It's going to be everything. It's going to be <laughs> more than just lifting those weights. It's going to be uh, that much more important uh, if you want that real chiseled body. But if you want a street body, you can kind of, you know, eat what you want, but you still got to keep lifting those weights. And with all of it, you got to have some type of cardio. There's no way to get away from some type of cardio to make sure that you can keep those calories burned off at all times. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.